farmers are the custodians of over 50% of the Australian land mass and so they are the land managers and so while, while there's an imperative around food production there's also an imperative around uh, maintaining and improving the natural environment that we're actually producing that food and fibre from. So I think we're, what we're going to see is, is, is obviously with increasing land prices and increasing um, yeah, global food demand and importance on maintaining or increasing that food production we also have a limited amount of land from which we, we can produce that. So we've got to focus on improving the productivity, but we also have to focus on maintaining that natural capital in its present state, or hopefully improving the, uh, the value and the health of that natural capital. And that's where it really links back into soil health. So focusing on uh, the soil physical environment, the soil chemical environment, and importantly, the soil biological environment, bringing that all together to ensure that we're actually moving forward both from a productivity point of view, but also from a, an environmental point of view. I think it's, it's important to integrate those sort of three characteristics. So say, oh, I've, has my soil got structural issues? Has my soil got chemical deficiencies or things like acidity or alkalinity? and then tie it all together as an indicator around the respiration of the soil. Is my soil respiring normally or is there something not quite right there so that the biological activity is actually suppressed? Nutrient Advantage has been involved in the uh, business of soil and plant testing for 60 years now. With the introduction of the soil health, I guess we're taking plant nutrition advice to the next level. And particularly when farmers are recognising, and, you know, they, they know what's going on on their own farms and their own paddocks, where they recognise that something isn't performing as well. Well, the soil health test actually helps provide some numbers to help guide improvements or changes in soil health. One thing that's becoming very clear in recent years is that soil is being regarded as Australia's most valuable asset. I think once upon a time, some of our mineral resources and so forth, but the reality is, the soil that we walk on, uh, it, it feeds us, it sustains our environment, and it's really generating significant wealth. What we do here at Nutrient Advantage and Instec Pivot is that we continue to uh, support the uh, productivity and the sustainability and the resilience of that very valuable asset. <laughs>